Alright, welcome back guys, or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Vision here with Blind Eye Team, up bringing you guys in our video. Today I'm going to be talking about some sad news regarding the Power Rangers franchise. If Power Rangers is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That way you miss any more Power Rangers news from me moving forward. Now let's begin. So like I said, we got some very, very sad news this morning regarding one of the most iconic villains of the Power Rangers franchise, the actor who played Lord Zed, Robert Axelrod, has passed away at the age of 70. Sad news for all Power Rangers fans, I think. Um, like I said, Lord Zed is one of the most iconic villains probably in the entire PR franchise. I don't think any care any fan can ever forget the first time Lord Zed appeared in season two. I just I think that's probably one of the most of his, one of his most iconic scenes in the entire franchise, just when he appears and you got Goldar who is in the throne room and he's bowing before him and you see all like the stuff pumping through his blood or through his body. It's so creepy looking. I gotta say he's probably one of the most creepiest and scary villains of the entire Power Rangers franchise. From what I've heard, even back then, parents had complained, wanted him to get off the show because they thought he was too scary, which is kind of funny if you think about it. But he is probably one of the most iconic Power Rangers villains. And it's a, it's sad news because, like I said, a lot of fans loved him. I hear he was big in cons and conventions. I've never been to one, so I honestly can't give my thoughts on that. But it's just sad news. I think whenever we lose... Any member of the Power Rangers family, it's a sad day. We lost Puma Magnesimo, I think that's how you pronounce his name, earlier this year. who played Shane in, in Ninja Storm. That was a sad loss. And this is just another big blow to the Power Rangers franchise. Especially when you have a character that was this big and this iconic. I think if Hasbro ever does reboot the the movie series or movie universe, whoever they cast... To play Lord Zed as some big shoes to fill. Because he... Because cause Robert Axelrod portrayed him perfectly. He had like the best voice for the character. And like I said, whoever fills that role has big shoes to fill. Because that I think no one could possibly fill that role. I mean, sure, Elizabeth Banks did an okay job in the 2017 movie. I know that has mixed thoughts on it. But I do think she did an okay job as Rita. But Zed is a totally different beast, and he is something totally different. So, we know Hasbro is rebooting and recasting the 2017 franchise. So, whatever they do, and if they bring in Lord Zed, it's going to be some big shoes to fill. And I'm just sad. This is, again, a sad day for Power Rangers fans. Lord Zed is an iconic character, most iconic villain, and he probably paved the way for a lot of the most scary villains in PR history. I mean, if you look back, I think we probably wouldn't have gotten Mezagog if it wasn't for Lord Zed. Like, you could argue that certain villains, yes, were do bound to be introduced to the Sentai footage. However, sh a lot of things are cut in a lot of the... P when bringing things over from Sentai. Now, I've never actually watched any Sentai. But think about it. Grum, I think, is scary. And you gotta think of it from a kid's perspective, not like adults are... Like, people that are adults look at it differently. But think about kids when they see Lord Zed. That's scary, terrifying. Like, even villains like Mezaga, Grum. Those are scary villains. Not a great season, but Master Xandrid is, a, is somewhat of a scary villain. You got other characters like Trakina's Final Form. That's kind of creepy. If a kid saw that, that's kind of creepy looking. The Psycho Rangers. Those are probably... They probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Lord Zed. You got all, all these villains that have come after the fact that probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Lord Zed. Even some of the lesser known seasons or, or weaker seasons like Opera, what was it, Mystic Force where you had the Master. He was a creepy final monster. Like you have all these different villains over the past years that probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Lord Zed. Again, sure we would have Sentai footage. But... I honestly believe that if it wasn't for Lord Zed, some of the more creepier villains wouldn't, wouldn't have been brought over from Sentai if it wasn't for Zed. He paved the way. And I think we all owe him and Robert, Robert Axelrod a big thank you for everything that they contributed to 
the Power Rangers franchise. Everybody always says he was one of the greatest villains or or everything about that. But he is. He still lives on in all of us and all our hearts and memories as Power Rangers fans. He still lives on within us. And it's a sad day. And to all his friends, family, fans who may be watching this, I send out my thoughts and prayers because as fans, even us, it's hard when we lose such an iconic villain from our childhood who we grew up watching. It's just as hard, even though we might not be fully related to that person. It's still a sad, sad day in anybody's who ever was touched or had ever met this character in real life. It's just a sad, sad day. So again, sending out all my condolences to you guys. And let me know one of your favorite Lord Zed quotes, any of your favorite scenes, and anything like that. Let me know all that in the comment section down below. So yeah, guys, those are my thoughts on the passing of Robert Axelrod, who portrayed Lord Zed in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That way to miss any more Power Rangers content from me moving forward. And you can go follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which I have linked in the About section of my YouTube channel. As always, this has been Vision here with Blind Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.